Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Owen Kennett. And if you're new here, it's the first Monday of May, you know, and May 17th <laughs> is going to be my birthday, okay? So as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing the Met Gala review. I'm just going to be showing you like my top 10 strongest look, my top 10 best look, if, yeah, we'll get into it. But anyway, I'm wearing these glasses today because I was like, you know, let me dress up a bit more. I feel like it looks ridiculous but let's see we 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 gonna record with this on um so i have my screen on your screen <laughs> my laptop screen on your screen and i've already blogged about it on my website so if you want to read about it you know go check that out and see more reviews and stuff um but what i'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys much more fun pictures from Twitter, to be honest, because that's where you have um, much more fun stuff, okay? So we're going to head it into the Met Gala Twitter space, and I'm just going to put my first contender, and that is Tyler, the girl who sang... Um, what do you call it? Make me water. Apparently, oh my God, is wearing sand. Like sand, my girls and boys. Like it's given buddy. It's given mermaid. It's given oh my God, that look. <laughs> no, that that is fierce. That is fierce, and it's just like. Girl, eat everything up. Eat it up. <laughs> and this, I believe this is her first um, gala. Her first gala. And she's wearing custom bellman, um, inspired by the sands of time. And yeah, I really, 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 really love um, the pictures from her. Okay, so back into it. The second person on my list, I really love this, but it's also not unique per se, because I mean, we've seen the styles done here and here in different rendition. But I mean, wearing this color, wearing this look, um, the makeup, everything was just stunning. It was really, really stunning on her and, um, all you can just say is wow it's given ethereal i mean it's on the team um and let's just even check what this theme is supposed to be but i just want to see one more picture so i did a blog post here and we're just gonna what is the met gala 2024 team um this is aimed to celebrate sleeping beauties reawaken fashion and the official dress code is the garden of time and yeah, that is what it's meant to do. And I feel like Mindy Kaling is serving that. She's wearing a piece from the designer Graf Gupta. And yeah, it's it's beyond. It's really, really beyond. And that's why I wanted to like do a screenshot of my laptop screen then putting pictures here and there. So the next is the one and only SJP. Sarah, oh my god, my spellings, Parker, and I really love this, I want to say Tinkerbell, you know, like bed in a cage moment, <laughs> um, it's really given like Chanel, but I don't think this is Chanel, let's see, um, if I can get what she's wearing one more time, oh my god, the dress is so beautiful, the cap, it's given Madame Formal, but make it fashion. And it's, it's, imagine if she had an umbrella, like a bedazzled umbrella, that would be, that would be something. So she's wearing Richard Quinn, and I really, really love this look. This is another of my, you know, strongest look. My list is not in any particular order. But it's also in a particular order, to be honest. Um, but I do have like my 
my most you know best dressed so just wait wait up for that oh so this next one is harris reed i really love this look um i don't know why spelling harris red here oh my god not red again ed okay and yo I think he was meant to go or he went with Demi Moore and I'm like, boy, this, are the designers allowed to outshine their guests? I don't know what that happened, but you know, what, he's, what he's wearing is way, 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 way more beyond. But Demi Moore is also not bad. Um, where? Where are the pictures? Let's see if I can go to latest. I can get I can only get one picture here. People, I don't know what's happening. But anyway, that is how it's read. And that was also a strong look. And I'm sure the next is Kendall. Kendall Jenner and Oh god. I think I'm just gonna be putting their full names now. We met Gala at the end of it because I don't know why the pictures are not coming up. Okay, so here we have it, and it's just given no glam but like natural glam and like good bad witch vibe. I don't know how to explain it, but it's sort of strong but simple look. I feel like the waistline tied everything together just that design on the waist elevated it um and really gave it like a wow effect and the horns hair makeup <laughs> or whatever she was going with um really gave it like a very very solid um look and apparently she's wearing alexandra mcqueen and i think the mcqueen's also dressed someone i'm gonna mention in this list and I would talk to like the team that they were going for, or I thought they were going for. But Kendall's look is beyond. And if you see in that picture, there's a butt crack. <laughs> I mean, call it fashion at the end of the day. Okay, on more of strong look, and this time around, it's a guy. Um, the one and only Bad Bunny. Right? And I didn't see a lot of strong looks for guys, to be honest. But I really like what he wore. It was really like in character, you know, like um, one of the gods in a whimsical, magical theme or something. Like it just brought to mind, and I was like, oh, I like it. And the red stripes in, like in between, and the tie gaps there. Um, it's a really focal point. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can get one more picture. Yeah, just like a very solid look from Bad Bunny. Like the cap, you know, the posing, the treads, living on dawn. Give it like a very whimsical touch, and I respect that. Um, so next is... Oh, when I saw this, I was like, what is this? What is this? But I was struggling to complete this list. So I was like, okay, no, I'm just going to give some strong looks in addition to this list. So this is why this is here. And this is Doja Cat. And I'm like, this person's like, what is the reason? What was the reason, Doja Cat? <laughs> I mean, but at the end of the day, it's a very, very, it's a, it's a very strong look. That's all I can say. It's a strong look for the carpet. Um... And apparently she wore a towel before she wore that <laughs> shirt out on the carpet. And let's see if I can get more media. Uh, I'm just careful. Just you know, just one quick click away on Twitter from disaster. So this was the look. I felt it was very strong. The hair, the makeup, obviously, the body and uh, sultriness of the water. <laughs> quench your tests boys and girls and this look was also i just picked it because it was strong again i mean they weren't so many wow 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 dresses um 
but Lana Del Rey, yo, I really love this. Um, I think she walks together with um, Kim Kardashian, but Kim Kardashian was just too, like too cozy for me, so it didn't make. It was a very strong look, um, but I was like, it didn't make my list, my top ten. Okay, um, so I really like this from Lana. I felt this was a strong look also, and really respected like the forest three but the shoes sort of like threw me off a bit because i'm like what are you wearing is that crocs <laughs> what are you wearing girl um and i guess this is also by alexandra mcqueen and just like honorable mention for kim kardashian the waist can you guys see the waist okay enough of that my next look um, was a big let down. <laughs> I was like, girl, no. Why? 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 What happened? And it's no other than Zendaya. It's a very strong concept. We could see the potential. But it looked cheap. <laughs> it looked cheap. It looked too costumey, costumey. It looked too, you know. Um, but they were on team, you know, and whatnot. But uh, it was it was not a solid. It wasn't a solid, you know, solid look, color wise. But I mean, Zendaya does no wrong, really, and. It's it just didn't blow the carpet, you know, like the colors were underwhelming, yeah. What he gave, you know, the the makeup was on point, like everything was on point, the styling, everything was on point, but the colors, you know, the colors were just yeah. But we love you, Zendaya. So, my last and final, my best look for the night, hands down, no complaints, is the one and only Davin Joy um, Randolph. If I can spell <laughs> the Randolph right now. Oh my god, Randolph. I think I got it. Awesome. Yeah. So, I just saw this and I was like, mm. Buddy, buddy, yaddy, yaddy. This was a look, and apparently it's in collaboration with Zach Posen and Gap. And you know what they say about Zach Posen? Boy can sure design. Like it, it was phenomenal. Like just look, look at the pictures. It is show stopping it is overwhelming it is given i cannot breathe it is given look at me and for a plus size lady plus size actress this was well done um because you know a lot of designers shy away from making clothes for plus size um, actresses and models so this was well done it suited her body structure you know, it uplifted the things that needed to be uplifted. <laughs> and it made a statement, the hair color, the nails, everything just worked and made it like the best strong, like the strongest look um, for the night for me. And there you have it. That is my 2024 Met Gala Best Dress rundown for reaction or whatever <laughs> hope you liked it and i know i'm not looking my best so don't judge me <laughs> but we can judge them anyway um stay safe guys and subscribe bye peace